What's interesting for me is the reasons why they're giving that people should return to the office. So the first one is incidental information exchange. So the idea that you're sitting next to someone, you can listen to what they say, you can um, you know, learn from them that way. The second one is productivity. Apparently, we're all much more productive if we're in the office. And the third one is culture, because the culture is always great in an office. It's always pizza, there's always people smiling. Really the sort of premise of this presentation is you know, is going back to the office the way to solve these problems? What's facing us now in terms of workforces and talent and technology is we're having to challenge some, some very sort of deep held assumptions. Let's think about the, um, you know, the benefits of, of hybrid and remote, accessing a larger pool of uh, talent with diverse backgrounds and experiences, flexibility and inclusion, engagement and productivity. If we study in two or three years time who got promoted, were they people who were in the office all the time? You know, I think there's some interesting data to sort of be had there. 20% of the world's population are estimated to be neurodivergent. Being neuroinclusive and really tapping into the different brains and different ways of working within your organisation is absolutely critical because it opens up so many more possibilities when you look past that narrow, we need to get everyone back in the office kind of thinking.